Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, welcome to the DHC Network, and today we are back with another Let's Play on Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode, we are now on part 41. So in the last video we killed Trevor, and it was not the right choice, so um, in this video we're gonna go over, go with option B, kill Michael. So let's go ahead and pick, pick this one. So enough of me talking, let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? All right, are you sure? Yes. Now we're calling Michael. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. All right, then let's go to, um, let's go to the location where we're gonna meet up with Michael. And now we're calling Trevor. Frankie. Hey, T man, I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap him. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I if I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could. Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you? Shit! You deserve each other! So, um, basically, uh, on Trevor's point of view, I don't think he's not happy about Franklin betraying Michael. Even though despite, um, Trevor's having bad issues with Michael, but he knows that Michael was good for Franklin. So I think it was a really bad choice of him, so it looks like Trevor has nothing to do with it, so you know, despite having issues with Michael. So, um, let's go ahead and head over to, um, Sandy Shores. So here we are at the um, wind farm where the uh, hippie um, trailer park is where Omega's located. We're gonna meet Michael right here. Let's go ahead and wait for Michael to show up. Hey man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. It's one of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You. You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Alright, so it looks like Michael realized what's going on, so let's go ahead and chase after Michael. So, um, so, so I think this was a bad choice as well, besides killing Trevor. And the reason really? for that. We really going on a train track? And the reason for that's because Michael did done a lot for Franklin, you know. Franklin has learned a lot from Michael, you know. It wasn't for Michael who, um, had Franklin's. You see the train asshole? Shit, I ain't getting past there. Ah, oh, fuck, man, you kidding me? How can I say, um, if you think about it, if Michael had never told Franklin to ram Simeon and Eterians, um, went on uh, his window on his car dealership, none of this would have happened. Franklin would never made it to the top as Michael, and have not learned. He could have been still hustling in the streets, you know. Shit, Mike. Hey, man, where you going? 
So yeah, and plus Michael has done a lot for Franklin, so let's go ahead and go go after him. Damn it! Right? Hang on, I gotta go around. I'm not like third person. Let's go after where he go. Go to Michael's last lo known location. Come on, man. Let's do this, me and you. No use of running, man. Come out. All right, we you can actually shoot it. him. All right, where did Michael go? I think he went upstairs. Franklin, you were like a son to me. We both used each other. That's what happened. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, yeah, but I understand why... I still don't get in uh, plus uh, let's not forget why um Michael has to be killed um if you guys think about it from the last video um Steve Hayes wanted um Trevor to die but in this case there's the difference between us I was looking out for you dude that ain't true he's lying that is absolutely true Michael did look after Franklin especially in during his downfall and plus, David Weston was Michael killed only because he ruined his businesses, which, which that was David's fault. You a snitch, okay? You know what that means. You going up there, huh? The thing that Franklin say, he's just lying. I don't know what makes him think that. It's kind of dumb. All right, let's go ahead and climb up that tower. Trevor, you're an idiot. We should take him out together right now. We'll roll on team. I brought you into my home, Franklin! You met my wife and kids! You're gonna die here, you prick! I can promise you that! Fuck you, Franklin! Fuck you! Alright, let's go ahead and get, go after Michael. Oh, shit. Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, fuck. I'll take you every time. <laughs> every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking A right! Where does he get this Epsilon medal from? That's weird, then. <laughs> you man! I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! Ugh. You just keep telling yourself that. It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Pass Take those phone, words phone. from Michael. People don't fucking change. You did. You, two-bit gangster, gone three-bit. Now you're gonna gap the only one who was ever decent to you. Ha! Ah. No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. <laughs> Michael's absolutely right. All that stuff was true. Let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know. I'm sorry. You hypocrite. I should have clipped you when you broke into my house. Man, I'm sorry. It's like you said, I understand. You don't understand nothing. I'm all you got. Let's go ahead and bring him up. Let's save Michael. Oh my god. Michael's done. And he's wearing his Epsilon program medal. to see how you was doing dog or maybe we can hang out or something and i know i've been kind of caught up in shit man but shit been real crazy homie but it's dealt with now fuck man you know how it is homie you just start running and shit and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more anyway man man just hit me dog we brothers homie all right peace
So that's the end of it. If um, that's how that if you picked it, this is the result. What happens when you pick if you kill Michael? And out of the two choices, I think Michael's death was actually sad. Some of you may think, but but then you see, Michael is kind of a dick to everybody else. He took advantage of it, like he used them to get his personal gain. But yeah, that's true. But if you think about it, um, Michael. Like Michael did show them everything, or like with well, the things he did. The reason why he did that is because, like, the reason he lied to Trevor after all those years because Michael want to have Michael wants to have a better life and leave Noriankton and prevent people like Trevor to bring him down from that. And as for Franklin, you know, like Michael did, you know, he could have killed him, but he gave him a chance to learn things from Michael. And um, and lastly, you know, like. It's just, you know, people think Michael's pretty much like a dick and all that, but honestly, Michael's actually a decent character. And plus, don't forget, he has a family, he has a wife and, and two kids, you know, like, after finding that Tracy's going to college, and now find out you, that Michael died, that sucks, you know, like, it really does. And also, once the ending, the song that plays is Sleepwalking by the Chang Gang, it kind of makes the, the end even more sad, you know, like, I did get a little tear out of it, so, um, and plus, do you think Michael's death is worth it? No. It's even more sadder than Trevor's. So let's go ahead and continue to get all the post calls after the, after that mission. Now we're calling Devin. Franklin, homie, what's happening, man? Hey, you know you sound kind of patronizing and borderline racist when you speak to me like that. Ah, grow up. Is it more patronizing than telling you to ice your favorite uncle? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. How'd it go? Look, it happened, man. So y'all gotta get the FIB off my case, man, since I didn't smoke Trevor for him. It's already done, homie. Haynes' boss has been spoken to. All right, so now what? You got a job for me? Oh, I had a job for you, Slick, and you just did it. Let me take a look down a list of your uses and, oh yeah, we're all out of them. I do have some advice for you, though. Go to business school, because clown school ain't worked out so good. Man, Devin West is such a scumbag. Like, the way he did that after, and plus, Devin West never paid Franklin for that money that he presents all those cars. So, Devin West does not deserve to live, and, doesn't, and Michael doesn't deserve to die. That's another thing. So let's go ahead and get for more phone calls and all that. So let's wait on that. All right, we get a message from Trevor. And where is it at? No, it's a it's an email. Trevor. Hmm. So he did it. And then Franklin. No, man. I heard it was that Western one of them guys. Yep, Franklin did it. And you see, Trevor started having a bad feeling about Franklin. And who we'll adds there's more to it, so let's continue waiting for more phone calls. And another message from Lester. Michael is dead for real this time. I hope you two weren't involved. I transferred his cut of the job to his family. It felt like the right thing to do. So like Tre uh, so unlike Trevor, um if you kill Michael, his cut goes to his family after his death, so it's going to uh uh, for the right cause, so so you don't get a splinter of his cart, just like how it happens if you kill Trevor. Let's wait for more uh, post calls and messages. Now we got a phone call from Jimmy. Hello? Yo, F, you see my dad? We ain't seen him for a while. Uh, no, uh, no, I haven't, man. Oh, great, because my mom is majorly freaking out. So it looks like Jimmy just figured out what's going on with Mike or his dad, so he probably doesn't know that Michael is dead, so there's more phone calls to that, so it's not over yet, folks. Alright, then we just got ourselves an a email from Amanda. Let's go ahead and read it. Amanda, okay, rot in hell. Let's read it. I know you have something to do with the death of my husband. If I ever see you again, so help me God, I will rip your head clean off your shoulders. I suggest you stay a long way from me and my family. I hope you rot in hell. Amanda, Franklin's response. 
I'm sorry about your loss. I didn't have any to do with it. Me and Michael was close and I tried to be a friend to him as best I could. I guess we was friends before he wasn't perfect, neither am I. So I think that's the last one from Amanda. I don't think there's more after that. If there isn't, then I'm just gonna end this video. And another message from Trevor. Where is it at? Email Trevor. I do not believe you. Franklin says, I swear you know Michael was a snake, but he was my friend and I don't kill people. Even once you get me wrapped up in the shit like he did. F, so. Oh yeah, one more instance. I forgot to share, so give me a sec. We got a call from Jimmy. Hello. My dad. My, my dad's dead. My dad. Uh, Uncle G, my dad. Well, uh, yeah. Well, I never had a father. My dad. My fucking dad. How did it happen? My dad. Yeah, it's, it's a bad business, certainly. I, I'm sorry. My fucking dad. My dad, you... He tried to be a good friend to you, and now he's dead. Uh, send my best to your mom. So, Trevor had mixed emotions about that. Um, because, you know, like, when it comes to Jimmy, um, Trevor is like an uncle to him. Because, you know, with Trevor and Michael being good friends throughout the years, but at the same, tre same time, Trevor was still upset with Michael after the events at the, uh, the, the big score. So, um... We got one more instance. I think that's everything. All right. So if you ever encounter Trevor in the in the streets, this is what you get once you Look, see each other. It's the traitor. What? You here to take me out too? No, oh, man. I could have taken you out. I chose to do Mike. He was good to you. Too good. And he used me, dog. Straight up. Could not be trusted. You know that. Now you can't be trusted either. Stay away from me, Frank. I don't know what I'll do. So if you guys saw that, um, it looks like Trevor is officially done with Franklin. So I mean, you're not able to hang out with Trevor whatsoever. So once you, once time passes by, you get a message from Trevor, and it says, "You, you are dead to me." So that's pretty much everything. So um, I guess that's that thing. That's all the post mission, the post mission after killing Michael. So I guess um. We're gonna wrap this up here, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, um, before I wrap this up, do you guys think Michael deserved to die? In my opinion, no, he didn't. Michael was actually good to Franklin, and yeah, he did some, he took advantage of some people and all that, but in reality, Michael was actually a good friend, so, um, let's wrap this up. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like new here, my subscribe. This is Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode part 41 so as always thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video and welcome to the dh network this is your captain speaking signing out